guys, welcome back to Star Stable. It is finally here, the Halloween update. We have so many things to check out. This is one of the updates that I look forward to the absolute most all year round. So there's some old favorites that have returned and some new things to do. Moreland is looking pretty spooktacular with all these pumpkins around. Oh, there's another black cat. Oh, I wish my kitty could go visit with them. Oh, oh, it's hiding. Come on, come on out of the hay bale. Is this cat literally a scaredy cat? Oh, look at it. She's got like decorations. Hey, happy Halloween. Hi, thanks. Oh, there's another item. The embroidered Celtic bridle. Ooh, perfect. Just go ahead and pick that up. Thank you. Let's talk to this giant crow that's right here. Poe the crow. Hello, my name is Poe the crow. I bring you word of where to go. Uh, happy Halloween. Others hide and don't make a peep. You must brace for Galloper's Keep. Talk with the ghost named Casper. The questions you have, just ask her. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. There's the portal. She will teach you to play in her own little ghostly way. So do not be late. Dark portals await. I have told you all that I know. So without delay, off you go. Okay. Thanks. Look at how spooky this looks. Ooh, the lanterns are all floating. Are ghosts holding them up? Or do they just have some sort of spiritual magic holding them up? Look at the pumpkins. Oh, there's like a glowy. There's something glowing. Into the portal we go. Here we go. Whoop. Ooh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, well, well, well. Check it out. Looks like the spooky sprout has some friends. This is so cute. Oh, one of them looks afraid. The bewitched butternut looks afraid. Mini zucchini. Irma, Irma Gord. Irma Gord, really? <laughs> They're so cute. I love this one's face. This one's really happy. Okay, so there's so much to check out. We've got the dancing ghost right here. Cross the bridge. Whoop. And here we are. Here is the very heart of the Halloween update right here. You can see Galloper way up there. Oh, there's a haunted horse walking. Ooh, creepy. There they go with no rider. Well, let's make our way up and at least say hello to Galloper. I mean, we have been waiting all year just to see him and hopefully learn way more about him too. Uh, hey Galloper, looks like a pretty good party this year. Oh, he looks like he's wearing something different. Was he wearing green before? I don't remember him in green. Just seems a little different this year. Anyways, uh, he doesn't have much to say. I mean, pretty much because he doesn't have a mouth or a head. All right, let's go check out the party. Careful, go across these boards. So we've got these ghost shops right here, which are absolutely perfect for shopping, which there are two new Halloween sets. One is the Duskwing set. It says bird lovers and necromancers. <laughs> Get it? Rejoice with this Raven inspired 2021 set. Here it is. Looks pretty cute. You get like a very cool kind of witchy inspired hat and this nice jacket. Layered charm necklace. The skirt actually looks like it has raven feathers on it. And I really like those boots. Those are some very nice boots and those gloves too. These fingerless gloves. Pretty awesome looking. And of course I've got the tack set here that matches my horse. I love that Star Sable's doing more Bozelles. I love a Bozelle. This looks pretty cool. Oh, I love the leg wraps. Oh, look at those. Like that chain detail. It's kind of like leaning a little like edgy with the goth kind of chain. I don't know. I just, I think it's really nice. And then they have the Pepita Pixie set. Whether you're a Jack or jill -O lantern you'll look pretty cute in this pumpkin inspired 2021 Halloween set. I do feel as cute as a pumpkin in this. <laughs> I mean, look at the pumpkin hat. I mean, complete with stem in the back. And then it looks like a stem has like twisted and vined all the way around the waist and the leggings and even to make up the shoes too. Kind of like a pumpkin vine. And then my horse also, it looks like vines were made to make the tack set. <gasps> oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that twist and stuff. That's really cool looking. This is a very nice set. They did a lot of detail actually in this. They also brought back the magic potions for you to convert your starter horse. Unfortunately, this only works on your starter horse. I wish it worked on other horses. I would use this like crazy. Easy if you could use these magic potions on any horse of your liking. And then of course they've got spooky Halloween masks, always fun. So the cauldron is bubbling and boiling right here in the center. Let's go talk with that ghost and see what they need. There she is just dancing like crazy. Cheers, kid. You're the hundredth person to come looking for me today. Something about a talking bird? Learn about Galloper's Keep. All right, maybe you've heard of Galloper's Keep before. Maybe you ain't, but this place has been around for a long time. Galloper, right. He's the big cheese of this place, just hangs out all year until autumn when he finds his way back to Jorvik to stir up trouble. He mostly just chases people around and drags lost souls to the keep, just like yours truly. So how do we pass the eons? Well, we could confront the regrets that stop us from passing on, or we could hang out, make some mischief, 
And if we're lucky, we get to throw the occasional party every few years when old Galloper ain't around. Wait, Galloper doesn't love to party? See, Galloper's keep. This place is more like Galloper's playground. Yeah, I think he kind of has a sense of humor. Just a little bit. So are you in or are you in? Like, do you mean I'm a ghost? I'm not a ghost. I'm alive. But tell me more about Galloper. Oh, she's giving me some soul shards. Take a look at the cauldron, the storage, the stable, whatever else catches your eye. I see that vacant look in your eyes. You're just like the big cheese himself. Galloper is crazy forgetful. And so are you. Wait, what? I'm not forgetful. Talk to Casper for a recap of the Halloween festivities. All right. Now, keep it in your noggin and give me a shout if you forget anything. Okay. She's, um, interesting. So, let's go and explore a little more. So, going off over here, we've got a bridge that we can cross over. Oh, there's something twinkling. This island actually gives me the willies. Something just doesn't seem right about that tower. So, most of us go stay away. Far away. Whoa, this tower over here? So if you guys watched last year's video about this, in the previous Halloween, Galloper actually got locked in to this tower and Yidris took over. But here it is. It looks like it's still kind of haunted and it creeps even the ghost out that this still exists. I mean, Galloper's clearly not in here anymore. We've got a portal down here and a ghost. So this is where you can play Dungeons and Pumpkins. Pretty sure you guys know this game. You guys have seen it in the previous Halloween updates where you're in the dungeon, you're collecting the pumpkins, you're staying away from the ghost. Hey, you're pretty neat. I think the portal actually sends you right to the basement of the Silverblade Castle. We get direct access to it right here. Which is good, because I heard they sealed up the door to that place. Oh, she gave me a soul shard. Oh, it looks like she's enjoying the bonfire. We've got the haunted trail ride. I love the haunted trail ride. Let's check it out. Ooh, this is so spooky. You never quite know what you're going to see. So let's see if there's any changes this year. Oh, okay. Got these little pop-ups popping up. Oh, okay. There's a little spider ones here. Oh, they do not want me to go that way. Do not go that way. Looks like there's a couple more up this way. Oh, there's somebody here. Wait, and a, did you see a horse? There was a horse shadow. I saw it. It's me. You look familiar. Wait, but you're me, right? <gasps> this is so weird. This is so weird. You got your twin. No, she's gone. She's gone. My twin is gone. She was standing right. This is so crazy. Oh, okay. I'm creeped out. That was spooky. What if she reappears somewhere else on the trail? If I leave, will she come back? So let's go down and then go back up. No, she's still gone. Oh, that was cool. I don't remember that on the trail ride last year. Hey, there's somebody. Is it James? Oh, it's just James. Wait a minute. He's wearing a James mask. I don't even know if it is James. I don't know if that's James or not. He could be just dressed up like James. That's a little bit creepy. James, is that you? James? Okay, I'm. Uh, he's not answering. I'm just gonna go this way. Yeah, we're gonna go away from him. That's creepy. Oh, wait, look. There's people up there. They're by the fire. Oh, it's Igor. Isn't his name Igor? Hey, Agata. I figured I wouldn't be the only one wanting to explore Golden Hills on this dark, gloomy evening. It's freezing out here, right? Will you join us? I was just telling Igor here my travels today. Dino Valley. It really is such a mysterious place and a land of many secrets. Uh, of course, I would love to. Come on, have a seat then. We have the campfire to keep us warm. All right, tell me about your stories and your adventures. In the freezing lands of Dino Valley lurks a beast that has driven people away for too long. People have found footprints the size of tree trunks in the snow, leading into deep, dark caves they dare not venture into. The footprints are often right outside the ice and gates, as if the monster had been pacing back and forth. Some people say it's just a bear. But can a bear hurl boulders down a mountaintop? Can a bear eat three horses in one meal? It's not a bear, it's a yeti. That's right, Igor. Swimming beneath the frozen lake, it smashes its enormous furry claws through the ice and drags its prey into the icy waters. You may think yetis are harmless, but if that's so, then why did this yeti drive the culters out of their home? Oh, did the yetis do it? Were the yetis responsible for that? I thought they just didn't like that we were there. This is creepy. Not much is known about the reclusive cult that lived in Dino Valley. They had to leave their land and lock themselves behind the Ison Gate and have refused to open it since. Whatever they had seen in Dino Valley has scared them too much to risk opening the gate again. While it has been many years since the colossal beast has been seen roaming the Lost Valley, the people of Cape West Fishing Village speak in hushed whispers about a creature that has recently begun to haunt Golden Hills Valley. What? There's a new creature? Perhaps the Yeti of long ago has found a new home among these woods. Be safe out there. Oh, that's so creepy. 
I wanted to find the Yeti so bad, I had been hoping that Star Stable would put in a Yeti quest. Every time I did a quest in Dino Valley, I was just praying for it. But maybe I was looking in the wrong place. Maybe now the Yeti is here. This is so creepy. Ooh, this is getting juicy. All right, let's continue. Okay, which way? Up here? Oh, but there's candles. <gasps> Ghost horse! Lost soul! Oh, there's another lost soul! There's a graveyard up here. What are they doing? These horses are so lost. They need to get back to, like, the underworld. They're so beautiful, though. These poor horses. Okay, they're standing on this circle, though. Maybe it's a portal. This one's over here reading a tombstone. It's so strange. Or maybe it's just eating the clovers. Hey, little guy. You okay? Poor thing. I hate to just leave him out here, but I need to finish the trail ride. Should I keep going this way? Oh, I'm just, I'm so keep thinking about that Yeti. Is the Yeti here? If Star Sable brings back some more Dino Valley quests, I'm gonna be so... What was that? I heard something. I just hope they bring back more quests. I want to know about the Yeti and, and about the Calters. That's all I'm going to say. It's feeling pretty creepy out here. I feel like someone's watching me. Oh, <gasps> what's that? There's a ghost. Ooh, creepy ghost in the woods. That is so creepy. Should I talk to him? Oh, <gasps> he's gone. Okay, okay, he's gone. They don't want to talk. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, what is that? What is that? Is that a bear? Should I go towards it? I don't know if I should. I don't know. I don't know. Let's put my cat back in the bag. Yeah, there you go. You'll be safe in the saddlebag. I, I don't know. It's close to the trail. Let's go around it because I, I don't want to upset it. Wait, should I go this way? It's a bear. It's a bear. Let's go this way. Oh, it's so creepy. Okay, made it past the bear. Nice and safe. Oh no, there's something else. What is that? Is that another bear? It looks like a horse. <gasps> Ghost horse. Is that horse okay? This is so sad seeing all these like horses that have like passed and animals that have passed. <gasps> it vanished. Okay, this whole entire forest is filled with spirits. What is that? I hear something. Okay, I'm ready to get back. Oh, what is that? There's a wolf. It vanished. Okay. Oh no, as I'm making my way up here, there's gonna be something that's gonna chase me, isn't it? What is that? I heard something else. Oh, look. It's a giant cat. Like my cat. Can I pass peacefully? Should I let my cat out? Should be safe. I mean, it's just another cat. Look at how cute. It's so nice. That's a friendly cat. That's a giant friendly cat. Okay. Well, good thing we can just pass. Ah! No, it's not. It's not a friendly cat. It's not a friendly cat. It's trying to kill me. It's trying to kill me. It killed me. You were caught by the canyon beast. Oh, okay. We have to run for it. This is not safe. Okay, go, 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 go. While it has its back turned. Ah, go, 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 go. It's still on us. It's still on us. It's chasing me like I'm a giant mouse. What is that? There's more cats. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't let it catch us. Don't let it catch us. <laughs> Please. Please sleep. There it is. Okay, it's done. Oh, that was so creepy. Creepy giant cat. Okay. Oh, this is new. Hey, we've got Poe the Crow here again, right? Is this Poe? Yeah, Poe the Crow. Bring shiny trinkets and stones. Find ye pockets full of bones. Take to the altar. Be brave. Don't falter. So it needs bones. This is so weird. Okay. All right, Poe, I'll be on the lookout. Hopefully we can get back. That was so creepy and that cat is still there. Oh, rock slide. Careful. Oh, Oh, careful. Yeah, definitely time to get back. It's so dangerous on the trail. My poor horse. <gasps> careful, careful. More rock slide, more rock slide. Careful. I feel like that giant cat's trying to get revenge. Or maybe the ghost. Maybe the ghosts are doing it. All right, good. We're going back. Escape to safety. Okay. That was incredibly creepy. So, you made it through the haunted trail ride. Did you make it through the canyon? Or did you chicken out and take the bridge? I always chicken out. So, no judgment here. Let's see what the next one is. Oh, yes, the pumpkins. I love this. The pumpkin quest. So, let's see. Here's the prizes. I think these are the same prizes from last year. The only thing that looks new. Oh, look. Raven feather. This dark feather catches the wind as if it were alive when you are on the haunted trail ride. This item can be used on the haunted trail ride or sold for your shillings. Ooh. And the bone, the unbroken bone, the small pristine bone stirs in your pocket as if pulled by some presence when you are on the haunted trail ride. That's interesting. We need to bring those back. And then it looks like the, the most expensive item is gonna be a recolor spooky sprout, which I love. So let's hop into the portal. And here we are, and same thing from the years prior. This is so cute, finding the pumpkins. I think the spooky sprout is one of the best pets. I'm so happy that that was one of the rewards that you could get. Oh, there she is, I see her. So there's the pumpkin with her little spooky sprouts. 
She's not happy. Okay, they're running. Go and find them. That's so cute. They don't want to be found. Oh, look at them shivering. I just want to scoop them up in my arms because they're so cute. So I just have to find all three of them. There it is. It thinks I can't see it. Hey, you. They will dance happily that they're all together. Take them back to the mama pumpkin. Oh, and she is not happy. Ah, okay. She's biting my horse. And after a little pumpkin chase, she will tire out and give you a soul shard. All right, let's go to the next one. And this one is the Scarecrow Hill Race. This one also is back from previous years where you climb up the hill, grab the soul shard, and then dodge the witches as they try to bomb you with their sleep potions. The shards, give them to him. Hmm. With those witches, I bet you stirred them up like a hornet's nest. Good work getting out of there. And this one, yes, the Headless Horseman race, race through Galloper Thompson's most chilling memories. Let's see if this is different than the years before. This is another race I really like. You actually get to ride as Galloper. So there's some sort of weird, like, kraken monster or something. You can easily see out into the water. Lighthouse going, storm. You see the, like, the sea monster's legs up here. So scary. Looks like everything is, like, flooding. This feels a little different. Even though it's riding the same, it feels a little different. Here we are. Feels very much like in this fall or the wild woods. Oh, this is different. Where's the giant creature that's normally right here? It's missing the creature. Where is it? This is weird. It's not here. Okay. So the Galloper had something to do with Dino Valley or at least an area that looks eerily like it. See, what's throwing those spikes? Those ice spikes. Is it possibly the Yeti? Hmm. Completely unknown. But there's something there. There's some land over here. We're back. Galloper, huh? It's like the guy lost his head or something. And another thing that's new to help you get some soul shards, look up to the sky and you can find this tornado here. So go to the tornado. There's going to be a ghost there and you just collect their soul shards for them. Thankfully, Star Stable made it really easy to find them and they happen every hour on the hour. So that is very nice and they will give you a soul shard. So now the last thing to check out is this guy right here. It looks like there's a ghost here. Exchange, three soul shards for, what is this, a note? Quest Galloper's Gambit. A dark memory of Galloper haunts you. The moment you step beyond Galloper's keep, the memory of Galloper will wait for the perfect time to ambush you. What, the memory of Galloper? This could be immediate or he could lie in and wait. If you can outrun him for a time, you will find yourself several soul shards richer. If you are caught, you will find yourself brought back to the keep without any prize. What, is he gonna come after us? <gasps> oh, we've got it, okay. That is so creepy. <gasps> Look at the chat, it says, so where are you safe when Galloper's coming after you? Running, open spaces. The keep is the only safe place. Otherwise, outside the keep, you have to run question mark. He's gonna jump scare you? He only chases for like a minute or so, so it's the waiting for him part that takes time. Loki terrified about the galloper thing. The sounds he makes are so creepy and I hate being chased. It's not too bad. The sounds aren't too loud or sudden and the fog helps tell when he's coming. Thank you so much. I needed some info on it. This is my third time now. So far, he hasn't caught me. Nice. So I finally got chased by Galloper. It is really creepy. Everything kind of grays out and you get like fog around you. So he'll chase behind you for a little ways and then he'll stop and then he'll grant you five soul shards. Okay, now it looks like there are some areas to check out this cauldron. I've been watching people just walk in and throw soul shards into this bad boy for years. Throw in enough and you'll walk out of here with some stylish new kicks. So let's throw in some soul shards. See what happens. 20 of them and you'll get a mysterious prize. Okay, let's get a mystery prize. Something went into my bag. It's this hat. Hat of the accused. We've all been accused of things we didn't do. Wear the infamy in style with this Galloper inspired Halloween set. Love it. So there's a new set. Okay, let's see if I have enough for another. Okay, yes. Saddle. Pad. Saddle pad of the accused. So here's the one I'm wearing right now, which is part of the Duskwing set. And then here is the accused one. That's really cool. This is so exciting. Okay, I can't wait to collect more of this outfit. So there's one more thing to check out here in Galloper's Keep. And that's right across this bridge right here. There are some new Halloween horses that have been added to the game. So join me in the next part where we check them out together and the new Halloween pets. It's so exciting. Thanks for joining me and riding along with me. I hope you have the best day. Love, hearts, hugs, horses. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.